What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert, and I wanted to show you a quick little workflow trick that I like to use when I'm needing to process some uh, different parts of clips with Isotope RX. So we've got some different types of workflows that we can use, but one thing that I've been doing uh, lately is I've just kind of come up with a little bit of workaround that seems to be working pretty good for me. So I just thought I'd share with you. So I've got a whistling S here, and what I want to do is I want to take care of that using RX. Okay, so we're just gonna focus on this top track here. Uh, so first thing I need to do is I need to identify uh, what it is that I wanna change. Uh, in this particular case, the whistling S happens here, kept in pristine shape. Okay, so it's the shape. It just sounds a little harsh to me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a selection and I'm gonna actually make the selection much bigger than I need. So I'm gonna make this selection over here and I'm gonna go ahead and break this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bounce this. So I'm gonna do a, a command B. So this has just turned it into its own file. All right, so now that this is done, what I wanna do here is I've got my pool open, but if it wasn't, I could just go to audio and select in pool. So now it's uh, selected it here. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna show this in the finder. All right, so now that this is in the finder, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna right click and I'm gonna open this with Isotope RX. So what I'm actually doing now is I'm opening this, this particular file that I've consolidated, that small little snippet is being opened in Rx, but this is the main file that's in the pool. All right, so now we can just, let's bring this up here for a second, and I'm gonna bring this back to the beginning, and let's find the area that we need to fix. Kept in pristine shape, kept in pristine shape. So we have some harsh S's over here, so let's go ahead now, I'm gonna move this over, and why don't I just grab my lasso over here, and I'm gonna paint the area that I wanna listen to. So I'm thinking it's gonna be here. Let's listen to this. Okay, so this is the area that I wanna process over here. So I'm gonna go up to my spectral repair over here and everything is set the way I want it. Let's just go ahead and process this. I'm just gonna move this out of the way slightly. Okay, so I've processed that now and I'm gonna back this up to the beginning, kept in pristine shape. Okay, so that sounds a lot better to me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go file and I want to overwrite the original file. Now I know what you're thinking, why would we do this? Well, because I want to find a way that I don't have to export this out of Isotope and drag it back in. So I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the original file. Okay, so now uh, VO track in brackets 4.wave has now become this file. So now let's go ahead, we're going to close Isotope. All right, we'll get rid of this. Okay, so now we have this file over here. So let's just go ahead and play this quickly. Kept in pristine shape. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna delete this file and then I'm gonna drag this right back in. So what I can do, I can just drag this anywhere because I can go up to edit and move to origin and it'll put it back exactly where it's supposed to be. Now we'll play from here, uh, actually from the top here, kept in pristine shape. Okay, so now that's a lot less harsh. So I just fixed that one area. Okay, so now one of the cool things that we can do here is that I can actually, uh, if I have snapping mode on here, I can just uh, grab this and I can just trim this back to somewhere that it snaps to. And let's pull this back. And I'll pull this back a little bit and pull this back. Now if I take snapping off, I can actually do this here. So let's just make two new in points and out points. So now we've got a nice clean edit and I can play from here, kept in pristine shape. Okay, so now it's much better. I've taken that harsh frequency out of the S there and I was able to do this without having to send and export and everything because I've used a new file that we created when we bounced this event. I used some shortcuts that allowed me to open it in a finder and then open that file in RX, destructively overwrite that file and all I had to do was delete it and drag it back in and then use my edit move to origin command to get it sitting exactly where it's supposed to. So that's just a workaround that I've been using for any time I need to do a quick fix in RX and uh, I've been getting good results with it. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.